Hello, I'm Jackie from IELTSJackie.com. In this video, I'm going to give you the top seven tips that will bring you success in the IELTS reading test. Each of them could make a significant difference to your score, so it really is worth taking note of them and practicing the techniques and strategies that I recommend. First, always read the instructions very carefully. If you don't follow the instructions exactly as they're written, especially regarding how to write your answers, an answer may be marked wrong even if the information you've given is correct. The easiest mistake to make is in writing the wrong number of words. The instructions might tell you, for example, to answer in one of these ways. One word only, no more than two words, or no more than three words and or a number. If you answer with the incorrect number of words, you will not get the mark. The examiners are very strict about this. So if you're asked, say, for a one word answer, which is volcano, and you write a volcano or the volcano, you'll score nothing for it. This may seem harsh, but remember, you're being tested on your reading skills and understanding the instructions is a big part of this. The instructions will differ from question to question, so take extreme care. The second reading tip identifies two key skills that you need to master for a high score. They're skimming and scanning. Together they'll speed up your reading and help you to quickly locate answers. If you're not sure what these terms mean, here are the definitions. Skimming is reading a text quickly in order to understand the general meaning. You don't read each word or study the text in detail as you're only trying to get the gist of what it's about. Scanning is reading a text quickly in order to find specific information such as keywords, names, numbers, dates or synonyms that will help you to locate where the answer is. These are skills that you already use every day without even realising you're doing so. You'll find a lesson on the website explaining more about them and how to apply them to the reading test. Follow the link to the IELTS Reading Skills page in the notes below this video. There's also a video about them on my YouTube channel. Tip number three is read the questions first. You should always read the questions before reading the text. By doing this, you'll notice specific words, names, numbers and dates included in them as you then read the text. This will help you to locate the relevant information again when searching for the answers. It will also aid your understanding of the text as the questions contain clues as to what it's about. The fourth tip is to focus on the topic sentences. This will help you to quickly understand what the text is about. It's part of the skimming technique but deserves a separate mention as it's so important. A topic sentence is the first line of a paragraph and introduces the main idea of that paragraph. If you were to read just the topic sentences of a text you'd have a fairly good idea of what the article was about. This makes topic sentences powerful tools to help your understanding of the whole text without having to read it in detail. Tip 5 is practice guessing meaning from context. You're not going to understand every word of the text so don't panic when you come across ones you don't know. Getting stressed will only impair your ability to think. Accept that this is going to happen and practice making an educated guess at unfamiliar words during your test preparation. Making an educated guess means looking at the text that comes immediately before and after the unknown word or phrase and using your understanding of this to work out what the new word might be. If you can't work it out quickly Leave it and move on. You don't need to understand every word to get a high score and running out of time to answer all the questions is a greater concern. 
The best time to practice guessing meaning and context is during your general reading practice. Instead of grabbing a dictionary to look up a new word, spend a little time trying to work out its meaning in the context of the sentence or paragraph. Reading tip 6 is to improve your vocabulary. It may seem too obvious to mention this, but in many ways it's the most important tip of all, so needs to be emphasised. The reality is, the reading test is essentially a vocabulary test. It's your knowledge of vocabulary that will ultimately determine your score. However, it's not just a wide variety of words you need to know, but also their common synonyms. That is, words with the same or very similar meaning. Many of the questions will seem quite straightforward until you come to search for the answers and can't find matching keywords and phrases in the text. This will be because synonyms have been used or the questions paraphrase the information in the text. Let me demonstrate with an example from past IELTS paper. Here are the instructions and questions. There's no complex language here and at first sight you'd think it would be easy to locate this information. Well, you can be pretty sure that it won't be and that both synonyms and paraphrasing will be used, which is in fact the case. We're going to look at questions 14 and 16, both of which are in paragraph B of the text. I've reproduced the paragraph on the next slide, with the phrases that contain the information highlighted, and the matching phrase numbers in brackets. Here's the paragraph with the matching phrases underneath. As you can see, there's quite a bit of interpretation needed. Pause the video and study the phrases and highlighted information in the text. Can you see how the ideas match? In another question on the same text, candidates have to identify which researcher discovered that oxytocin increases people's feelings of jealousy. Here's the section of text that contains the same information. When volunteers played a competitive game, those who inhaled the hormone felt more envy when others won. Can you spot the synonyms? The question includes the word jealousy, but in the text we find the word envy, which means the same thing. This is typical of how synonyms are used in the test. An extra tip regarding vocabulary is to study the vocabulary section on my website. In it you'll find out what to learn, how to record it and how to learn it. I've also created many topic vocabulary pages that will help you to improve your vocabulary for every part of the IELTS exam. You'll find all these valuable resources via the main vocabulary page on the website. Search www.ieltsjackie.com and click vocabulary in the main menu or follow the link in the notes below this video. The final item on our list of IELTS reading tips is something so basic that it shouldn't need mentioning, but it does. You must check your spelling and grammar. Many of your answers will come directly from the text, so there's no excuse for spelling and grammar mistakes, yet many people make them. If your answer is correct, but you have spelt it wrong, or your grammar is incorrect, it will be marked wrong. So check it. Don't give away marks because of carelessness. That brings us to the end of these top 7 IELTS reading tips. Follow them as you prepare for your test and you'll greatly improve your chances of a high score on exam day. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in another video soon.